Being smoke-free during pregnancy or quitting while pregnant is one of the best things pregnant people can do for their own health and the health of their babies. This video highlights challenges individuals face in their attempts to quit smoking while pregnant. It also provides information and tools that state Medicaid and CHIP agencies and their quality improvement partners, such as health plans and providers, can use in their efforts to improve delivery of tobacco cessation support to pregnant and postpartum beneficiaries during and after pregnancy. The percentage of pregnant people enrolled in Medicaid who smoke during pregnancy is more than three times higher than among those who have private insurance. This suggests that there is a significant opportunity to increase tobacco cessation efforts among beneficiaries enrolled in Medicaid prior to and during pregnancy. As a provider, I know that quitting smoking is difficult. It often takes people many attempts to successfully quit. Beneficiaries enrolled in Medicaid face unique challenges that make it even harder for them to quit. Studies suggest that people who report food insecurity, a history of violence, behavioral health problems, and substance use disorders are more likely to smoke than people without these challenges. Research has also shown that the environment is important. For example, low-income neighborhoods are more likely to have tobacco retailers, tobacco marketing, and higher rates of tobacco use. Being around these triggers can make it harder for pregnant people to quit. Finally, people living in poverty typically experience higher levels of stress in their lives. Pregnancy itself can be an additional stressor, making quitting smoking feel like yet another challenge. Despite these many challenges, pregnancy is a crucial time to provide smoking cessation support to beneficiaries enrolled in Medicaid and CHIP. Providers play a critical role in identifying beneficiaries who smoke and providing cessation treatments, including behavioral counseling. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force recommends that providers ask all pregnant people about tobacco use. For pregnant people who use tobacco, the task force recommends that providers advise them to stop using tobacco and to provide behavioral interventions, such as smoking cessation counseling. Social support is also an important tobacco cessation strategy. Bringing together pregnant people with similar experiences of trying to quit or successfully quitting smoking can generate meaningful social support. People who stopped smoking during pregnancy need support to continue to abstain from tobacco use and people who are not able to stop or who relapse should be encouraged to continue their efforts to stop. Having a newborn in the home is another reason to quit. Infants in homes with people who smoke have higher rates of respiratory illnesses and ear infections, as well as higher rates of sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS. It is important for providers to recognize that during the postpartum period, people may be under increased stress, especially if they have symptoms of depression or other behavioral health issues. They may experience a strong urge to start smoking if it was a strategy they used to reduce stress and anxiety before pregnancy. Some state Medicaid programs have developed payment models that reimburse pediatric providers for screening caregivers of infants for depression, tobacco use, and other risk factors. During my time working with the Massachusetts Medicaid program, we engaged pediatric providers to discuss the benefits of screening the birth parent during the well-child visit. We found they were eager to incorporate these screenings into the visits. Providers saw this as an opportunity to build their relationship with the birth parent. We're learning more and more about how important it is to engage pregnant and postpartum people at every opportunity. Medicaid programs can engage their managed care plan partners to use personnel such as care coordinators, home visitors, and community health workers to offer smoking cessation support to pregnant and postpartum people who do smoke. Engaging personnel who live and work in the same communities as the beneficiaries they serve can offer great support and motivation throughout the process of quitting. 
Many state quit lines have tailored protocols for pregnant and postpartum people, including a personal quit coach, motivational interviewing, and access to counseling sessions. Medicaid programs, plans, and providers can work together and play a significant role in helping beneficiaries quit before, during, and after pregnancy by connecting them to a variety of support services.